this is also part of the exhibition. It's a customized car show. Here we go now at Stag's stand and they have a few nice products, Q-Series, cheaper line, K-Series probably everyone knows. That's the first digital MSK, we started to use them as well and they are quite, quite special. Being Class D, they are very special, they're DSPs, DSPMs. And that is something new. There is a new range with a four channel and a two channel. I don't know specs yet, but as much as I know, they are somewhat in line with the master stroke range, but slightly better priced. That's what I've been told. So there's a QKA 200.4 and what's that one? 200.2 I'm sure you many of you have seen the MSK range speakers we've used many of those they also have that two-way set with the wide bands and that's the SS range so that's the SS range, their top end range speakers. The four inch mid. And that mid bass is quite something. These are made in Italy. CNC made basket. That magnet is so strong that I can't even take it off the stand. <laughs> the stand comes with it. It's quite a beast. It will definitely be interesting to test it at one point. Mm. 
but they also sell audio system products and they have head units as well I figured out classic floating type they have single din and they have double din as well they have built-in DSP uh, 5G compatibility full integration camera kits they also have optical output for the sound quality fans Yeah, it's optical output. Oh, do you want to focus there? It doesn't want to. Okay. Plug and play upgrades. Um, yeah, they have upgrades for everything for Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, and Tesla as well. That's for Mercedes. That's for Volkswagen. And they have the Tesla speakers as well. Straight factory fit. And a factory sub for Tesla. Bolt in. Really like big construction, but it's pretty rigid. This is their cheaper line from Avaid. It's also within GT Trading's brands. That is a very interesting concept as a drop-in sub. It can even go probably into vans underneath the seats. And this is steel. It's pretty heavy. They have some new goodies from audio system as well. It's an 8K monoblock, it's pretty compact. They with all the well-known twister line. These amps have been around for ages. So now we are at Zapco's and I'm not going to show everything to you because most of the products, most of you already know. I just show the goodies, the new stuff. So with the ADSP amplifiers now, they've done changes. You can also easily find it on their website. But now there's one model right here in front of me, so I thought to show it. So now the 8-channel amplifier became a 6-channel amplifier with a pair of outputs. So finally, you can add a monoblock to it, um, to your liking, and up to the power you need. That was really, really missing on the previous model. Um, also, now they have input gain on all the eight RCA inputs. So, that easy to set it up. If someone ever struggled with setting up the gain on the input, now it's gonna be, you know, simple, simple, simple. They also have coax input, not just optical input, so that's a great addition. And instead of the previous built-in Bluetooth module that nobody had much information about what quality that was, even if it sounded great, now they can utilize the HD Bluetooth module that was used, still used in the HDSP5, the big DSP. 
but I've just heard that they have done more development to this module so now it's gonna be even quicker even better so that can go into that slot and the big difference is that microphone sets let's take it out so they will have their own mic XLR it's questionable whether someone who already has a mic with XLR could use it with that because then the calibration file is questionable whether that could be loaded into the software but then that goes straight there and they have a brand new software for autotune so it's going to be interesting to test that piece to see how that works they have a new controller as well i've already had feedback from a few people that they are not quite sure about this shape because um yeah it's not the simplest to install it's gonna have to sit on the surface especially as the cable comes out on the side but if you stream on Bluetooth then you can advance tracks from here as well so that's a new little piece for daily systems and as I I've just heard it they will also have a monoblock hopefully looking exactly like this same chassis monoblock for these so you can have you know two amps side by side looking great in an install so yeah that's a nice nice little addition to the product line and we definitely want to record this part because this is what many people talk about ESB 10,000 series so this is now the beryllium version right is it the soft dome no it's a soft dome oh, that's the beryllium there Okay, okay. Let's let's see those beauties. I can't even pick it up. Oh, oh that's you. Yeah. That's what happens, and that's when it's good to have that grill there, because these drivers are so crazy when it comes to magnetic force. Uh huh. They are also super heavy. That weighs more than a four-inch mid-range. Yeah. Wow, what is what is in this? It's crazy. Honestly, this is really heavy for a tweeter. Mental. So these flush rings, just magnetic, pop on. Yeah, there are a few scratches on it because this is a demo piece. But it finishes an install really nicely with that ring, for sure. Just like that. Nice. There's just something about this design. It's just so attractive. I don't know. It really pulls my attention with this grill design. I really like that. I'm not 100% sure about this orange or goldy color though. Some people may like it, but if you want a aesthetically you know, nice looking blending install. Then I think that's that's a better option. But these these plates are changeable, right? So you could have even okay. this plate with the beryllium. Maybe the, the final version of the beryllium version the Twitter will be the same. This same. is the only okay. prototype. Prototype, yes. We are trying some different colors, but I would stick to that. At the end, you will end, we'll have maybe this one, this kind of design. But people could always customize it because it, it comes apart. You bought it out, and I think the faceplate comes off. So you could change the color to your liking as well, I guess. Oh, okay. yeah. you, could, you, could, you could spray it, you know. Okay, so we keep these tweeters away because we want to have a look at the rest. And these are, as you could see earlier. Different <laughs> angle. It, keep it on the other side. So that's the mid base driver. I've read the, the content online, what has gone into the development of this. Uh, yeah, it sounds crazy. Yeah, probably I will, I will touch it and play with it once I put the camera down, because uh, it needs two hands, I think.
So terminal. It's it's an Allen key, right? From the side. And you can put the speaker cable in through there. Okay. In the same way, this finishes it nicely. There are little magnets in there. So I guess once you have bolts, then the magnets will yes, click exactly. on just like. Yes. Oh, already click. It clicks on. Yeah, this is really heavy. I, I can't even lift it up with one hand. It's not safe. I'm going to lift it up when I put the camera down. It was a beautiful cone. Play with that. And then we have an even better looking mid-range down there. Bloody hell. These drivers are just crazily heavy. You should be careful each angle. And that's the mid range. So is it a three, three and a four half? Inch. Is it four? Yes. The overall is four. The cone looks a little bit smaller, but that's just fine. A lot of breathing all around. But from the mid-range, you will only have one type, right? Yes, Because exactly. only the tweeters will have two options. Yes. Okay. Same way. Yeah, magnets there. Click. And it's on. Well, design is, is one thing, but sound is, is what everyone is interested about. And after we... We tried the 8000 series, which is a very different price range, but the 8000 is, is beautiful. So if this delivers what everyone expects from it, then this is going to be a very, very special speaker set. Do you know any information about when it's coming out, when it's available, roughly? We are rushing, but in the year. Okay. Maybe next, next to the summer. Okay. Well, everything that's great takes time, so just take your time, make it, make it right. And I definitely want to be one of the first ones testing these for sure. I'm really interested in them. So this is the prototype of the 9000 series. Just because we went through 10,000 series, then people may not take this, this seriously, but this is halfway in between. 10,000 and the 8,000. They still have to figure out the final version for grill, mounting, whatnot. I'm, I'm not sure I can lift it. Oh, I can lift it. We were talking about it earlier. This driver might not be the one that you want to fit in the door for sure with that coil. But if you buy a speaker set like this, you really shouldn't put it in the door. You should get an enclosure, probably. And they have the 8000 around. So they come separate as well as like that. People might have seen us showing them before on the channel. And then we go down in the line. So there's the 5000 with dome mid. They come separate as well. These are the plug and play options for Audi and Volkswagen. They have the 3000 series, which which is interesting because they are tiny and they come like that too. And then the simple systems two-way 2000 series and even cheaper lines.
So I managed to get these out of the cabinet just to show these from closer so they can have them separate but they can also have them like this and look at how small it is very nice design but they have this combination a mid-range tweeter and they also have a wideband version of it which doesn't have a dust cap but they have a larger one as well I think these are like what, two and a half inch maybe this looks more like a three and a half or maybe four overall yeah 90 mil three and a half simply a design Oh, hang on. This is the 3000. Okay. There is this. No, that's the 3000 as well. Okay. So, this is now all the like, Fisher stand. There's a lot to see here, guys. A lot of fancy gear. <coughs> Sorry. The big boy gear, that's for sure. And that's where they have a few new things because now the 8 inch has a sub and they also have a mid base pair. So I guess the mid base has better inductance, so it plays more into the mid range than the sub driver. range those rings are absolute perfections yes they have price tags for sure but when you hold it in your hand and then you see the CNC work how accurate it is and how the grill has a rubber edge or if I can focus on it a rubber edge when you push it in so the grill doesn't even touch the the ring at all it's completely isolated and uh, he has proper weight proper stainless then the mid base drivers from matrix i heard the car yesterday with that driver in sealed box in the kicks it was <laughs> quite something that's for sure it, it, yeah it made me think that i may have to try that big boys up there and they have few new DSPs now because they have a DSP Pro Mark III. That's now the Mark III, so it's going to be interesting to see what that's about. And another new thing that caught my eye yesterday night, the P6 Ultimate. Because, yeah, we were looking at it it's not correct because it's not 12 channel DSP it's a 10 channel DSP so he has um, six outputs with four RCA outputs so six amplified four RCA input section now also has coax input it looks like everyone is moving towards not just having optical but coax input as well and then on the other side There you go. Now they have four outputs. This kind of ideal for tweeter mids, rear fill, and then you could have two outputs for mid bass, two for subs, or anything. So now this is not an eight, this is a tension or DSP. Awesome. Probably with even better power figure. And then of course you can pair it with the P2 or the P1 or both the V12 V8 we use a lot controllers 
beautiful conductor we use a lot. Hello. Cheaper amps or the amp range. Plug and play kits. The Mercedes. And for BMWs as well. Quick and simple subs. Yeah, they have they have a lot around, and they also have looms, which I like. So you can have quick integration. So that's for Burmeister with the match ten up, with the SP plug and play, as well as you can have. The 9 no Bullmeister systems with that amplifier, that easy. They really make life easy for people, that's for sure. And this is also new. So what does this one do? This doesn't have any writing. Let's see, guys. Looks like a monoblock. Tiny, tiny monoblock. Yep. Nice. So you can have a DSPM like that with a monoblock like this. Tiny. It can go anywhere. Six times sixty-five. Perfect for mixed wheats, rears. 2x160 at 2 ohm for sub or for even mid bass. It's a crazy amount of power from such a small box. And another new addition. They have now Brex Y bands. The grip comes off, it doesn't, it's glued on. So that's a Y band with a face plug. How it's going to be mounted I have no idea because that speaker terminal is pretty big and it's in line with the cutout so you will need maybe a special mounting ring for this driver, I don't know. It's tiny, <laughs> size of a tweeter. And it looks like it has functional range from 400 Hz. But they also have the GR2, so that doesn't have a price yet, that has a price already in Euros. Yeah, we'll have to talk to them to see how it can be mounted because this looks quite challenging. Some training happening there. Yeah, loads happening here. So now we figured out how this driver is going to be mounted. It's a bit tricky, for sure. So apparently there's a... Is there a threaded, a threaded bolt there? Is it a bolt? Is it a bolt inside? A screw. A screw, okay. So with that, you can use a bracket to pull it in into a buffle, like a steel U-shaped uh, bracket people use for tweeters as well. And the grill is held in place by little magnets built into this ring yeah there's one magnet there i can see if i can focus on that yep tiny little magnets around and then it just yeah nicely clips on it's gonna be definitely a nice little piece because many people like white bands these days nice and simple install and we also have a bit of information about this situation. So, what's the power on this on 4 ohm? What did you, you didn't say on 4 ohm, what? 800 watts at on 2 ohm. 2 ohm and 440 uh, watts at 4 ohm load. I have a small hand. That is crazy. Exactly the same size as a, that? 
And that also had six times 65 and two times 160 on two ohm. But the first six channels are only four ohm stable. So people have to keep that in mind. But this is very, very versatile this way for sure. So here we need a bit of a correction. I've just been corrected because we were looking at the P6 Ultimate. And as it's listed as a 12 channel DSP, actually it is just like the Ultra, right? Yeah. So the trick is, oh, let's turn it around with one hand. <coughs> so yes, I thought that we only had six amplified channels and the four RCAs, but in fact, we have two more channels through the optical. So that's how you get 12 channels DSP. And then you can even use the optical straight into those, any of the P2 or the P1. Then it makes it, yeah, very, very competitive for sure quick demonstration so this can slide out and how far does it go in completely in the back nice. in. Uh, and does it fix into place when you yeah, push it back it, we did it by a by a screw okay but, um, so just for the show you took the, the boards show. out i see the mission was julian told me mike we, uh, i need a quick installation because i want to give back the car in yeah, to, to give the car back yep. to Mercedes in six months. Okay, yeah, so you don't you want, don't want to, crazy. that I spend so much time in the car. But it would be waste. If he, if he phones you up, it's a pleasure to build a car for him. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's always just if, if you are there, yep. you cannot go to a show with a. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, this looks stunning. So, so this is a um, special moment because I didn't even expect this. I have friends from Hungary who have business in Austria and many people don't know the brand. At the same time, the specialists, especially in SPL, they know, they know CZ, uh, CZ, the way we would say it. They definitely know the brand. They are specialized in building performance subwoofers, which not only create crazy SPL levels, but they also play really nicely and they can build custom subs to requirements. If you say that you want to sub that you want to throw 4K on it, 4K RMS on it, or you want to throw 10K on it, they make it. Honestly, it's mental. I go out, I show the coils. But what's surprising for me is that they they started to make um, speakers now. So that's a prototype mid-range, 4-inch mid-range, with some crazy carbon corn or whatever it is. And the same way, uh, uh, Jeez, how do I open this door this way? The mid base is the same. Still in, in prototype um, phase, but they already show good results. This is a completely sealed enclosure they built onto the Tesla door. Stunning structure. And those are also sealed boxes for the mids on the dash. And those are Rakuten tweeters, uh, home audio drivers, the 28 mil ones. Because uh, making tweeters that can keep up with the transient response of a mid-range like that uh, is very difficult and you need someone super specialist. Um, so it's just easier to, to grab the tweeters from Acuton because um, they, they've been using Acuton speakers for very long for their own cars. But now they thought, why not? Let's, let's make special drivers. So who knows what, what's going to come out of it, but it's really nice to see small companies pushing the boundaries and, and doing new things and if you want to see crazy SPR subs honestly check them out because they they do some crazy shit here we go special moment, special moment. no don't don't start moving because we have to we have to show this car to worldwide nation yeah. everyone yeah. so we got in contact when one and a half, two years ago. Good, good while ago. And I can say that I had a bit of help yeah. in, in uh, pushing you towards certain things to do. Although I didn't have much to do with this, this back end, although it looks fucking stunning. Yeah. This car should be an expert class, to be fair, looking yeah. at the, the finish you have yeah. in here. Do you want to explain what you have? Because yes, people can oh, see yeah. from the diagrams. Yep. It's, uh, but uh, it's easier if you, if you explain. Yeah, it's uh, the new uh, 
uh, range of amps from DLS. Mm -hmm. It's the DLS S2 and S1 monoblock for the subs. Which are back there? Yep. This drives these two subs and this drives these two subs. Okay. Yeah. And then these five, how are they? This is tweeters, mid range, front sub, and uh, mid bus. And the last one? The last one is for demo speakers in the oh, doors. There's, there's no signal in it yet, I see. Yeah. So you will have some fun here. Yeah. At the uh, back. A flex coax. Okay. They are built, but uh, unfortunately the door uh, twisted a little. So it's, it's are you not... planning to aim the, the drivers here yeah, they twist are, out? Yep. Aim. Okay. One meter in the center of the car, you should have a stereo image. That's okay, the when you aim. stand here. Yeah. The kids. So that's that's the. Very special custom distribution. Yep, by very done nice. by a friend of mine. All done in in hobby garages. Everything is done. I know. Yeah. People have no idea, but I, I've seen pictures and, and footage of you working on this in snow. Yeah. In snow outside in the cold underneath just a roof. Yeah, I can show you a picture in the documentation. Come on, then. can put it here. Okay. We can show it later. I can. I have to find it in the computer. Till then, I go to the front if yeah. you found it. Yeah. So, originally, you had mid base in the doors, right? Yeah. Just turn it, turn it down. So originally, we had mid base in the door, and many people know me. I always say, mid base in the door is bad. I mean, you can get good results, but with a lot of hard work, and it's never gonna be as good as if you had mid base in the kicks. And that's my part where people who follow me on Patreon get inspiration and help. We had personal consultation a few times as well, and he fitted the mid base in the kicks in true IB. Yeah. Those. Yeah, it should work really well. I'm, I can't wait to listen to it. And he still kept the front sub, because why not? He already had that beard way before the kicks. Really nice finish. That grill, the ring, flush. Your finish, man, is, is just stunning. Have you seen this, Peter? Come on. It's a copy of uh, from Insignia. Done, yeah, yeah, yeah. Done it my way. It looks way. great. My, your way with the controller integrated. It's yeah. stunning. All, all cables hidden, nice paint finish. Who does the paint finish? Uh, a friend of mine at home. Does he have a paint booth or a professional? Yeah, he's a professional painter. Yeah, it's stunning. Even this. When I saw pictures when you took the driver out and I'm like, well, how are you going to finish it? And it came out beautifully. Aluminium ring. Is that vinyl? Yep, what is the vinyl? Thing? vinyl? The same as on the door. It's the same the whole I see, so that is the same as that. Yeah. Nice ring. What is this ring made of? MDF. MDF. Yeah. Nice roundover, paint finish, plexi. And a mirror. Mirror effect, largely. Yeah. Stunning. But we have to talk a little bit about that situation on the dash. So I will have to listen to that <laughs> to figure out what it's like because I was quite skeptical. Still am, <laughs> until I hear yeah. it. Because this is a different very different position and aiming for any mid and tweets and you told me that you built cars like this before yep. and they work well because yeah. it's a little bit narrow but we will see I'm, I'm yeah. really interested yeah we'll check it out yeah and then what is this the m11 m11 plus ltd oh a special one yeah. wicked and i can see i i find few songs from you can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here. Oh, my demo yes, list. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so, guys, this, this, this is why we do it. This is why we share all these videos on YouTube. This is why we go to all the meetings, competitions, because it's just so nice to see like-minded people, especially. We can say you are a hobby person, you are yeah. not a professional because no. this is not your business. No. 
yet you are so passionate about it and honestly I even commented to you yesterday yeah. on Facebook not many people can understand the amount of work you put into this car and with the environmental yeah, I have the picture uh, of the li lim limitations you had to work on this car because Scandinavian countries are like that so when someone says that they don't have time, they don't have money, they, they don't have the drive to build a car, look at that shit. This is four weeks ago. At home, was a decimeter of yeah. snow in the garage. And now my missus also understands when, when I talk to people and spend hours with them doing private consultations, then crazy things happen because some people need just a bit of push, a bit of help, a bit of advice because they have the drive, they, they have the passion to do well and there you go. This wasn't built by a shop, but honestly, I can count on my one hand how many shops could build a car like this in all Europe. And, and you've done it. And you're here at the Euro Finals. So what class is it now, by the way? Master Limited. Limited, yeah. okay. That's where I was last time. Next time it's unlimited. Uh, <laughs> a bit, a little with, bit harder. With the big boys. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna jump in and have a bit of fun. Okay, I have to show this quickly. I had a quick listen to it. This car is in expert class. Beautiful finish throughout. Look at that. CD changer made invisible. <laughs> Crazy. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, okay. Fans, exits, nice. Look at that cable management. All covered with plexi as well. Wow. Okay, that's just a, just a moment. More coming. All right. So the gentleman is from Italy. Oh, and there are more keys. Yep. And I have a feeling that this is going to race. Yep. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is that is stunning. This is inspiration guys on many different levels. Yeah, 
was not good. So I chose all the way. It's me, I have to concentrate. <laughs> that's it. No, 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 no. So that's how much documentation is needed for this car. So this is our good old long friend's car, Tony's crazy car from the Netherlands. Do you want to go through it, what you have, or shall I try? And yeah, then I'll go little, explain you, some, uh, some stuff. You fill in. Well, one thing is very special about this car. Probably you are the only one who has a center sub on the top of the dash right now. Yeah, probably, right? yeah. We can, we can Didn't say see that. One, uh... So Tony has something hiding there in a sealed box, I assume. Yeah, sealed right? It was completely rebuilt to make space there and you were lucky that this car has space for that. Yeah. Last time when I was sitting here, you had hybrid or DOL 4 SEs, wideband. Yeah. And you remember, every single time I told you, you need bloody tweeters. Not that the car was doing very well. Because you already had the Revelation amp. Yes. And um, sadly, that went into smoke, all that big plan with Revelation, but at least you still have an amp. Yes, mine is perfectly fine. And it does a very good job, and it did a great job with the wide bands, but I told you, well, I always need a tweeter. And then now you change to these mids. My which precision Z series mid range. And then and you have. Maestro tweeter. Yep, which are also, are those true ceramic or ceramic coated something? I think it was titanium with the ceramic coating, okay. but I'm not yeah. 100% sure. I, as much as I know, only Acuton has true ceramic cones. Yeah. yeah. But they have some sort of similarities, yeah. as much as I remember, but I've, I've been listening to it. But first we talk through. So your front head cons consists of the... Five speakers? Five speakers, because yes. now you don't have kicks, you don't have no mid bass on the no kicks. Uh -huh. But uh, let's turn back, because that's where you have more goodies. So you also went through a few phases having different subs at the back. Yeah. And the last time I heard it, you had a Clarice 15 in sealed and it yeah. integrated beautifully to the front sub. It was one of the best integrations I heard, to be fair. It was stunning. Um, but now you changed to the SPB, SPB 15 from Acoustic Elegance. Yes. And now it's not sealed. No, it's uh, I be through the rear of, uh, of the car behind the bumper. Um, yeah, works. So that revelation is a five channel amp. Yeah, five channel. So that runs the five channels on the dash, and yeah. you have a brax for the uh, sub. Rear for sub. the sub. Yeah. The SP. It's a Moscone. A Moscone that you took apart. I just realized because the volume button is down there. Yep. Yeah. Brax voltage meter. Nice. To be fair, I really prefer having a control display here than in your up previous there. car. It was up in the... Yeah, it was the head unit was up there. Yeah, yeah. Just a word about the source. You have an iPad mini with yeah. topping D10. Is it the D D10S? D10. D10. Going optical to the uh, Moscone DSP. And is the 8 to 12? 8 to 12, 8 to 12 aerospace. Yeah. And there's a an USB hub in between, so I can also play straight from the USB onto the iPad. Oh, wicked. Stunning. All right, guys. So this is Tony's special creation. Um, and then in the demo video, you will hear a bit of bit of music playing as well, as much as we can recreate what's yeah. happening here. But yeah, it's always fun. What happened to that? Was going to take us home?
So this is the car I mentioned a few times in some of my videos. Still haven't heard it, so hopefully that's gonna happen. But this is a very special build, several times European champion. This gentleman makes his own amplifiers. Yeah. I'll say number one. It looks like he has samples on, hello. He has samples as well here. Do you have any chance to loosen your car? It looks like someone is going to jump in now. You must be so then I can. Yeah, I'm going to wait, wait for my queue and then listen to this as well. That's why now we are taking a, a bit of footage so people finally can see your build and you can describe how you came up with this idea to have a single driver playing. Single driver? Yep. Post extent. FE 166. But you see, it's interesting. You won so many. How many times did you win Euro finals? <laughs> With this car, six. Well, you see. But how in many? Eight competition. How many people try to copy you and use this speaker? In Italy, three people. But here at the Euro same finals, same car. Mm. no, nobody. So it's interesting that you won so many times, you have done so well, and nobody tried to bring a similar car with these speakers to your finals. It's interesting, right? I think so, uh, when you spend uh, five, six, seven years mm. to try your best things, and uh, you uh, have in Finnish uh, a very good system, mm. you have to keep it. Yeah, that is true. It's true. Yeah, that's why I try to save the Honda as well. I just don't want to drive it to Salzburg anymore because it's too far. How how long is it for you to come here from Italy? No, it's not too much. Seven hours. It's not bad. Yeah, from the UK for us, it's probably like 13, 14 hours, probably double. So just to go through what you have, because you have more speakers than what actually play. <laughs> so you have those two six inch wide bands, right? Yes. And, and you have a sub hidden. Sub hidden. Hidden. In the dashboard. Somewhere there. And you have tweeters for the Somebody looks. Get out this morning. And nothing there, right? Nothing. But actually you don't have anything there. It's just a panel. All. Okay. I use all the damp at the door mm -hmm. to expand the volume of the car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are very heavy. It's like doors. a accord. 
Yeah, I see. For the best purposes. Yep. That's what so three speakers, you have your own amplifier, right? Yes. But when you say that you built this car now, what, 12 years ago? Yes. When you finally... Have you had the same amplifier ever 2000? since? 2000? No, different. The first version, the gold. Maybe you should have okay. The amplifier that I have is the Mayazaka. Okay. So what amplifier do you have for the subwoofer though? Uh, subwoofer is all my subwoofer. Velodyne is a self uh, amplifier. Okay. All right, let's play a bit of music. Let's hear Scotty. Yeah. Scotty checked out this morning. In his customary way. With a glass of good malt whiskey in his hand. At least, that's what they say. He didn't leave much iron. When he finally paid the bill. Maybe he should have settled a few old scores. But now I guess, he never will. I remember the time he told me. We were born under a golden star. Or maybe sometimes we couldn't find it. And the journey seemed too far. But it was just a matter of hanging in. We'd get there in the end. The end. <laughs> so now we change over to DVD. Some dynamics. Exactly. Drums. You like drums, always like drums.
to unplug this mic for a second because I have a feeling when, when we played it louder, the bass can easily distort these mics because they're very sensitive. But I gotta say, that front sub works so bloody well. So well. Is it? Is the subwoofer loaded towards the firewall? Which way is it facing or down? No. Five degrees. In, into the cabin. It loads really well. Because uh, it's home for the subwoofer and the worker uh, in front. Okay. Normally it's open. Yeah. <coughs> it works very well. Sound quality uh, system not means uh, no uh, enjoy loud music, uh, yeah. loud drums. It's still capable to play loud. Still very capable, but I can see that those drivers play very low. They move quite a lot. From 15 to 20,000. 15? 50. 50, okay. <laughs> 50 hertz, wow. Uh, first stop at 40. Okay. Plays the very low end. Yes. But uh, the box uh, for the speakers, uh, uh, the speakers need uh, 45 liters. Uh, I have only 33 each. So you build the box going out? Outside of the car. Yep. Crazy. Crazy. It is definitely a special system. Hopefully, one day you will buy it off you and carry on enjoying it. A very special system, that's for sure. Okay. So, this is Hans car that many people know a lot about. This car came from nowhere, I think in 2018 maybe, and he won. Uh, Master Unlimited out of nowhere. Uh, people didn't know him that much in Emma circles, but um, Yeah, he's the guy standing there in black t-shirt um, Yeah, he's been you know, A long time champion in Aya in the German competition and they came over to Emma and they did really well in Emma, too A lot has changed to this system since um, They had many different options in in here but the first time when I heard this car, uh, he already had the diamond, the Akiton diamond speakers. But he had uh, micro precision mids there before, I think the four inch uh, micro precision Z Studios. He had different mid bass drivers down, down there. He had a 15 inch sub at the back. And now the system doesn't have anything at the back at all, no rear sub. Currently they have this Akiton, um, I think it's the, the eight inch uh, base driver that we use a 10-inch version of in some of our cars as a front sub. Uh, these are sealed enclosures on each side so they play pretty well down to you know the frequencies that's really required for Emma 30 is still there um, yeah expecting extension below that from up front is not realistic in any case but these drivers are very accurate they have the Ecuton C165s with custom ring because they had to integrate it to the existing install. Uh, the grill is factory but the ring is different because the uh, factory ring they are magnet magnetized and they just sit around nice and flush but they couldn't make it flush because these boxes on, on the dash are not deep enough but it's quite a big box running across the dash. So it's freeway system with the micro precision amps at the back. I'm going to show that in a second. Uh, Raspberry Pi uh, car PC, and they have, as much as I know, if they haven't changed it, they have their own DSP. Something crazy that um, Marco knows more about it. If I have a chance to talk to him, then he can he can share more information about the DSP. But as as far as I know, they have like 100 slots per channel for whatever they need for filters, notch filters, EQs. So when I heard this car in 2018, I think they had like 300 EQs on seven channels at that time when they had the sub as well. It was crazy. So this, this is his competition system. Quite special. And then in the separate demo video, you will hear a few songs I'm going to play through it. Uh, Unfortunately, didn't bring my USB, so I would just play whatever I can find on it. So this is Hans's front end. Come away with me in the night. Come away with me. Come away with me on a bus Come away 
come away with the game's tent Us with their lies And I want to walk with you On a cloudy day Field 4000, right? And I thought to record this quick as well because I'm pleasantly surprised. It sounds very nice. It's not boomy like many cars, it has transfer and mid range 
nice top end and you have these Dayton yep. AMTs yep. which are not that expensive no. with blam three inch mids yep. yeah I don't think I can show those those mid bass you have down there from Hertz which oh yeah shallow eight inch something is it breathing out yeah through the wheel arch okay very old drivers but they do a good job and you have an FI at the yeah, back IB15 yeah breathing out um, is there also do you have a separate processor yeah he needs just in the back yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, okay I remember now but you still use the P99 yeah as a source and now we're just playing from Spotify through AUX and yeah it sounds great I know high res right <laughs> people want high res all the time Acoustic 10 inch driver facing forward. Yep, in a small sealed box. So actually, it's three way front sub, rear sub, like the way I, I like to do it. Yeah, I, I can see a bit of inspiration in this car coming from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> you know, it's a very good setup. Unfortunately, I can't stay for any longer, but I wanted to show it to people. Plus it will be good for us as well in, in the future when we look back at it in like 20 years. Oh, I did that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Go on. I go to the next.
plans for the future so we can look back at it, this video this is going to be part of a demo video for Salzburg I'm just telling you because yeah. I will have one um, without I, music I already assumed <laughs> Because as soon as you play music, copyright is going to kill me, but it yeah. is what it is. People need inspiration and, and, and they want to see what's happening at the Euro Finals. So this is Mikko's car from Finland. And he has a bloody beautiful setup that he has kind of just finished. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's never finished, but it, now it had to be finished for Euro Finals. Did you get full points on install? Yeah. Good, that's what I you like want. I to say, I am finished with two ends, but not with one. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just go through what you have right now. Can you please explain the setup quick? So uh, there's an uh, iPad with a slider kit. I can remove it, and okay. this the CD original CD player behind it. Okay. And it's really just swap, just swap it on. Okay. Well, how is it, so? How is it connected to the system? I have two options. Mm -hmm. There, right now it's playing uh, via USB. Mm -hmm. Straight in the in the Brux DSP, it is a USB audio uh, input okay. input module, and then uh, I can also use Bluetooth for uh, via uh, digital audio player. Okay. Yeah. And it's also quite uh, works surprisingly well. Okay. Actually, uh, we tested it's actually even better than the with the USB. Yeah. Yeah. And that's uh, we are coaxial straight into the DSP. Okay. But uh, I had a little uh, issue there, of, uh, mostly because I, maybe I just forgot to insta save the setup and mm -hmm. it had to uh, remove two input things there. Okay. So I didn't use that for competition. All but right. the, the difference is not dramatic. All right. Then, speaker wise, yeah. if you have beautiful AMTs there from, is it your old? No, Elec, it's, or what is it now? Uh, it's Elec, but it, uh, it's not the same pair that I had. Okay. I, but I is it like them, is it like this from factory with this aluminium plate, or that's additional on the top? Uh, aluminium plate is factory. It's a factory like this. Yeah. Okay. The port itself is 3D printed and modified with uh, some fiber filler. Yeah, I can feel. Mids. There are Scanspeak Gold Series uh, 11M. I don't remember the rest of the code. It's four inch, four inch Scanspeak yeah, yeah, Gold Scanspeak, Series yeah. mid. That's enough, and then. There you go, mid base, not in the door. No. It's difficult to see, but you created a complex install for them there, yeah? Yep. So is it now with the airspace also used on the floor? Yes. So underneath my my foot, the enclosure extends, and that's how you get enough airspace. Yeah. Can you open the door? We might be able to see it better there. And then on that side, yeah. same way, inspired from the insignia a bit, yeah? Kind of, this is uh, pretty much the only thing I can do here. Yeah, you can't but do it's a, it's else. A, But it's a very similar construction. Yeah. And at the back you have a ScanSpeak 12-inch Gold Series. 13. Sorry, sorry, it's a 13. <laughs> it's a 13. Is it fan noise in the back? Do you have fans at the back? It is, yeah. It's still the Prox, yeah. amps, uh, Prox Amplifier fans. Uh, okay. I have uh, external fans there too, but I never have time. Them, keep them to cool. To yeah. be fair, I didn't hear them till that stage, until the music went silent, yeah. you know. So it's, it's fine. Yeah. But 
But apparently, I I remember I didn't get deductions of those. Yeah. Maybe it was the. Uh, well, the background background is quite you know high floor noise level. Yes. Um, all helps. the participants and the show around us is pretty high noise level. But actually, I can try. That was uh, okay, uh, quite okay. Not the most okay. high fi sound, but. That's uh, What mid bass you have? Uh, that's uh, also Scott's big gold series, six and a half. Model. Okay. But yeah, that installation when you don't have them in the door, especially in music like this, when you have fast kick bass, yeah. no rattles, nothing all up front, so clean. That that makes all the difference for a quality system. Okay. Well, I'm gonna cut it here. We will listen to a few more songs without the recording because yeah. the mic will distort your shit probably. <laughs> yeah. But uh, thank you very much for showing your system. Yeah, anytime. Maybe mid best test. Go on.
Father, tell me, do we get what we deserve? Oh, we get what we deserve. And we're down. Well, I just wanted to say that this car is really, <laughs> really up my street. That, yeah, this system doesn't struggle with output. That's for sure. And just like in in previous systems, you also had the mid base is not in the door because there are nice little boxes there and there small little boxes but those drivers do a fucking awesome job what driver do you have in there uh, matrix brax matrix ml6d in okay. the back there is an ml10 double two okay and scandinavia 30 and 75 Amplifiers and Helix P6 DSP MK2 okay. and the P2 for the sub. Simple. That's it. Simple, but it works really well. Shit loads of output, clean, no rattles. Yeah, that Brax is doing an awesome job down, down there. Not sweating, that's for sure. Wicked. We have a few minutes of this as well, quickly. We are just a few minutes away from announcement of the competition, but I wanted to record this as well because this car is worth it and yes we've been in contact for a while and i'm glad that at the end i could i could listen to the cars from denmark because i can say that the level of the cars you have guys is pretty fucking awesome honestly um i heard many cars in the last one and a half day and just yeah we know we know they're looking on, on the window we have to go so this car quickly morale tweeter morale mid right yeah micro precision 7 series in the kicks is it breathing out right yeah to what I mean. Yeah, with that break, it was a bloody nightmare, I'm sure. Yeah. But we managed to get it in. Beautiful job on the other side as well. And it, and it shows mid base in the kicks, especially in Mercedes. So far up front, so clean, so well tuned. Bloody awesome. And you have more L subs at the back? Yeah. Two? Two yeah, twelves? Two twelves in sealed. Yeah, but it's not boomy. I'm sure you have a lot of headroom. Let's just go back to this. I'm sure we've, even through the recording people, we're here. Russet brandy in a diamond glass Everything is made from dreams Time is made from honey, slow and sweet Only the fools know what it means Temptation Temptation I'm 
I'ma hustle every day till I see a meal. I'ma hustle every day till I see a meal. Looking for the baddest bitch in here to chill. Looking for the baddest, look, looking for the bird. All this money I stack, verse everything that I pay. All the sacks I sow, verse everything that I blaze. All the songs I make, nights I spent on stage. It's all I ask for, like my passport, we on a different page. You play catch up when I'm next up, my rep up, I'm good. Where I come from, you play dumb, make 21 in my hood, and you blessed. I'm never putting stress up in my woods. Smoking OG with my OGs, getting gang just like I should. There you go, a bit of jazz, a bit of hip hop. We could throw anything on it. It just sounds right. It sounds great good job thank you honestly cool. i don't care what you score i like this system that's it let's run results